Welcome. In this video, we will discuss postgraduate resources at the UE Mona Library. This is a presentation of the Mona Information Literacy Unit. The UE Mona Library has four branches, the Law Branch Library, the Medical Branch Library, the Western Jamaica Campus Branch Library, and the Science and Engineering Branch Library. You can access information at any of these branches as well as at the main library. Here are some library basics. You can access the library online at www.mona.uwi.edu forward slash library forward slash. As usual, you can simply use your student ID to borrow open shelf books for a period of one week. Semester hours will be advised as soon as possible. The typical semester hours were 8.30 to 6 a.m., but due to the pandemic, this information has changed. Please check our website for updated information on opening hours. All libraries, including the main and branch libraries, offer spaces for quiet study. The circulation desk is one of the features of the library that you should become familiar with. This is where you will borrow books from a library clerk. You will use your ID and you're able to borrow books for a specified period of time. I'll now look at the time periods allowed for postgraduate students. Postgraduate students are allowed to borrow books and pamphlets, periodicals, laptops, and even locker keys. Books and pamphlets on the open shelf are allowed to be borrowed for 28 days. Books and pamphlets that are located in the reserve book collection are allowed to be borrowed for three days or three hours depending on the publication. The number of items allowed is three. You may also borrow periodicals and you're allowed to borrow six periodicals for a period of seven days. Laptops are allowed for periods of three hours only and you may only borrow one laptop at a time. Lockers are allowed to you are provided for your convenience and you are allowed to borrow these lockers for four hours, after which you need to return the locker key. Computer access is readily available in the library. For example, in the main library, we have the overnight reading room, which provides you with several computers for your convenience. We also have a small training room, which also has several computers for you to use. In the law library, we also have computers for access in the Merrick, as well as in the medical library, and at the science and engineering branch library, we have a computer lab, as well as a PGLC. And I'll talk a little bit about what the PGLC and Merrick are in a moment. The Merrick lab, the medical branch library, is very spacious and allows students to study as well as access the computers in a very quiet environment. The study spaces are readily available in the medical branch library and you might find this very useful when you want to meet as a group or even to study on your own. MERIC, which stands for Mona Electronic Reference Information Center, provides a space for students to not only study, but access computers at the Science Engineering Branch Library. The library also offers several other important services, such as reprographic services, which include printing as well, printing as well as accessing materials for your own personal use. The Reprographic Services Unit is very helpful when you want to send in material to be printed as well as copied. The key feature of accessing the library is our ULA. This is where you can access information anytime, 
and anywhere. Unilink stands for the Library Information Connection, and this is a key feature of accessing electronic resources in the library. In order to access Unilink, you will log in using your username and password. The page looks like what you see on the screen. Here, you can search for information in Uvilink. You can access UE collections. You can access articles by subject, as well as UE library news. You can even access help from a librarian through the Ask a Librarian service. Teacher scrutiny and consultation are a key feature of the services that we offer for postgraduate and graduate students. The library offers graduate students thesis consultation services. This process involves students submitting their thesis to be reviewed for citations as well as checking to see that the student conforms to the U.S. thesis guide. Students may submit their documents to milu.library at uimona.edu.jf. After a student submits their completed thesis or dissertation, a scrutiny is requested by graduate studies for the student. We offer also several collections that are accessible to our graduate students. We have the Open Shell Collection, the Reserve Book Collection, our Cindy's and Special Collection, Caribbean Public Information Center, which is a World, World Bank um, Information Center, our periodicals, our government serials, as well as our United Nations Collection. We also feature public works, such as government publications, journals, reference works, newspapers, books, and other electronic media. Here in our public works, you can find books and articles published by Yui Mona professors, as well as you can find current materials and sources um, from our journals, our newspapers, our monographs, and other electronic media. We also feature government publications. These include official publications issued by a government publishing facility. We have statues, Acts, Government Gazette, as well as the base of Parliament. Human Mona Library also features several journals. A journal is a periodical which generally contains material related to research. These appear at regular intervals and they can be weekly, monthly, or quarterly. The content in these journals vary, and as a graduate student, you will have access to these journals and you will be able to examine these journals for information to write your research papers. When it comes on to reference work, we have a host of encyclopedias, biographies, yearbooks, as well as dictionaries that you can use. The library also subscribes to Credo Reference, which is a referencing source that helps you to identify background information. Reader reference is used when you need to find information, but you are not sure about your topic. It allows you to conduct a mind map that helps you to find more targeted information on your topic. You will want to use Reader reference before you continue your search. The library also features various newspapers and graduate students like any other student, have access to these. Our papers are either daily, monthly, or weekly, depending on the publication. As you know, these contain news, opinion, advertisements, as well as subjects related to current affairs. We also feature Caribbean newspapers. Books and monographs are easily accessible at the library. You can borrow this, these from our circulation desk, or you can search online and then come into the library when you're open to access these resources. There are plenty electronic media available to students. Our electronic media includes information that is electronically available such as CD-ROM programs, e-books, and e-journals. Our e-books hosted by the library come from various sources such as ProQuest e-book central, 
ebook on Epsco Post and Spring Update. They cover a diverse subject area and they support both students and faculty. Access to these ebooks are subscription based. And we also have access to free ebooks. The library has subscribed to a wealth of these books and these are available for you to access. Electronic journals are a feature of the library services to guide your students. Here, you can have access to subscription-based early journals, a comprehensive co coverage of journals spanning from various subjects, and these include the sciences, the humanities, and social sciences, among others. You can also download journal articles um, from or database. The interfaces are easy to use, and you will see how easy it is to use Ulink. We also feature examples of dissertations and theses. These are works prepared as a part of an academic course for a higher degree. Print copies of MPhil and PhD theses from all campuses are available in the university collections of the West Indies and Special Collection sections of the main library. We also feature profile dissertations and theses in our full text database. Students can also access past examination past papers, as well as information that is searchable using your course search code. This is where typically you will find your examination paper. You can speak to a librarian who can provide you with additional information on how to access these information. Thank you for watching this quick video. This has been a video of the Mona Information Literacy Unit. Have a nice day.